Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well Sagittarius, let's get straight into your reading and pull your angel answer card. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we have yes. The answer is yes. I mean, this is all systems go energy this is the green light getting the green light on something um you might be told yes by somebody this week you know if you're waiting for some kind of answer you might be told yes as well hmm it's definitely what i'm getting okay interesting what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for our lovely Sagittarians, 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. Message for Sagittarius. Ooh. Re-energize. I mean, it might well be this feedback or something that's coming your way, this green light. It could be re-energizing you. But it might also be something that seemed on hold i'm getting on hold could be brought back to life here re-energized you know something is beginning to happen again okay i'm going to pull four cards the first card is you your current situation second card is your challenge third card is advice from spirit fourth card is your outcome and then we'll clarify the cards and go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. First card is the Hanging Man. Nine of Coins. I have the Lovers here, card of Gemini, and Strength card, card of Leo, a fellow fi fellow fire sign. Okay, let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message. So what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Sagittarius, 11th to the 17th of January 2021, please. Let's clarify these cards on the table. Thank you. Okay. High Priestess and the Ace of Coins. Nine of Coins is clarified by the Ten of Swords. The Lovers is clarified by the King of Coins. And the nine, <laughs> the nine of Cups, very nice. Your Wish Fulfillment card. We have the King of Wands. So we've got two kings in this reading. It generally means one of these kings could be you, or the two of them could be two different people. Male or female energy, or the energy of those kings. So let's clarify the king of coins. I feel this king of wands is you. I feel this King of Wands is you. Yeah, I do. The Ace of Swords. Let's get one more card for that. Let's 
get one more card. Thank you. I've got <laughs> Oh, you know, they do have fun with me. I have the King of Coins. <laughs> okay, so I've got two King of Coins now with the Ace of Swords. It feels in this situation, Sagittarius... There's some opportunity here that you're being offered. I'm kind of feeling that this Ace of Coins is the same coin that this King of Coins is offering you. I don't see that Ace of Swords as being a negative thing or a divisional thing or a divisive thing. I see this King of Coins as being somebody who's offering you something solid, stable and secure. Um, If anything, it feels like cutting ties with the past. Because the Ace of Coins can be to do with moving, relocating. It can be to do with money career as well, for some of you. Uh, so the Ace of Coins can be a career financial opportunity. Um, I mean, that could be in the form of jobs, bonuses, business opportunities, um, investment, you know, that kind of energy. Um, in terms of love, romance, relationship, I kind of feel that it could be somebody offering you, asking you to move in with them. But there's a feeling of limbo here, the hanging man. Is it that you're not sure or you're waiting for somebody to ask you to move in with them or go to the next level? Or you're waiting for some kind of opportunity in terms of money and career? It definitely feels for some of you that this opportunity is coming your way. It feels to do with more of a relationship situation because we have the lover's card here. Um, It definitely feels in this situation you're being offered something. And I feel in this situation they're offering you to move in with them. Because the Ten of Swords is having been deeply hurt, but it's a Ten of Swords is the Ten, it's a completion, something is over. Um, and definitely in this situation, the Ten of Swords is the pain is over. I mean, this can be about loss, pain, dark night of the soul energy, um, deep wounds, deep hurts. And again, this energy of I'm perfectly fine on my own, my own self-security, um, my own abundance, my, I provide for myself financially, materially, property-wise maybe, and feel pretty good about it, you know? So there's a kind of fierce independence here. And maybe that's why you're waiting. That's maybe, that might be why you're not sure. The hanged man is an interesting energy because it can be about looking at something from a different perspective to see the way forward when we can't find the solution, the way forward in our upright situation. The message with the hanged man is look at something in a different way because there's definitely an energy of you being aligned to your soul path here. The, the Ace of Pentacles is the destiny card. It's very much connected to the destiny because it's the hand of God offering you this. And along with the High Priestess, your soul path, your soul light, trust your intuition to do with this opportunity now. The Pentacles is generally solid, stable, secure, something that you can trust. But there's some kind of fierce independence here. So it feels like there's some reservation. I mean, this can be about pause. And I feel for some of you, there's some kind of deliberate pause here because there's the fierce independence and the fact that you might have been hurt before. And yet, this is an opportunity that's been offered to you now. It feels, 
it is to do with love romance relationships and it can be a choice in love the lovers card um the lovers card is a really nice energy of love harmony aligning you know you have the right the same outlook the same perspectives you know that kind of energy the same values um it's a, it's a really good perfect match energy so it feels this is somebody who matches you perfectly but the ace of swords it feels like there is some kind of decision here you know this is the clarity that you're waiting on the the ace of swords can be the epiphany clarity card getting clarity on how you need to move forward to what this person is offering you it could be a taurus because the king of coins it definitely feels that like this is a person that's offering you love but it feels like they're they're wanting you to move in with them uh, set up home together opportunity now yes i could read this in terms of money career you know that kind of energy but it feels more to do with love romance and the pentacles can be to do with some foundational relationships can be to do with our money career can be to do with our health can be to do with our property but in this instance it feels very much to do with somebody who's offering you something solid and you can trust them and don't judge them by past experiences of the past pain because that's over and even though there's a feeling of you're standing in your own abundance here and feeling pretty good about it it feels like there's some fierce independence here that you're wrestling with to give up or you feel that that's going to be given up by you know moving in with somebody but I feel that the message is that you will get the clarity that you need in how to make the decision choice in order to move forward. And you know, I'm not being funny, but <laughs> you might be saying yes to somebody, you know, you might be saying yes to somebody. Or it could be the way around, you're asking somebody to move in with you and they're feeling very independent, you know, and they've been, because they've been hurt before and there's a kind of feeling of pause, limbo, being in limbo. I do feel the kind of breakthrough is coming, the decision, the choice, the clarity that you need uh, towards this new beginning. Because it feels like a, a next level of a relationship, taking it to the next level, because it's something to build on, something solid, stable, secure for the future. You know, I like the Leo energies here. The, the strength card is about having the strength to overcome that which keeps you stuck. The, the strength card originally was a card of mastering one's thoughts. Because if you can imagine your thought patterns can govern your actions, um, how you move forward in life, how you perceive something, you know, how you interact with the world, all of this kind of energy. And when, when it's in that negative state, when there's the barrier, uh, strength exists when we have fears, when we have doubts, when we have challenges, adversities. And it's the ability to being our power to overcome that. So it's as much about our internal barriers as much as it is about our external environment. Being in your power to overcome something, the courage to go for something. And there's a kind of message of now is the time to be strong because for some of you and i feel that this is you energy this is a card of take the lead go where your passion leads you i mean the king of wands is somebody who's a go-getting energy you know doesn't rest on their laurels if they have an opportunity they just go for it you know he's the person who is um represents confidence somebody being in their power you know, and, and I feel in this energy, this is you, Sagittarius, male or female energy. Because for some of you, there is definitely a hope or dream or wish that can come true here. I mean, the Nine of Cups is essentially getting your heart's desire. And it feels that that's what you're being offered here. Your heart's desire. It definitely feels like some perfect match relationship. But there's a kind of concern about giving up some kind of independence. But I definitely feel in this situation that there is definitely um, maybe a new way of looking at it or 
getting really more enthusiastic about it the more that you think about it. I mean, it definitely feels that you'll have some kind of breakthrough in terms of which way you want to go in this situation. You will get the clarity, the epiphany, um, the understanding of how to make the decision choice on how you're going to take action on this situation. Because there's definitely a wish coming true here, wish fulfillment. So it feels very beautiful. Let's clarify and look. <laughs> I've got the Nine of Cups again. Nine of Cups is an energy of reasons to be thankful. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of real joy, contentedness. Um, not lacking for anything, you know, it's that kind of energy. So I definitely feel for some of you that there is some real happiness coming your way and being offered to you. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups. Let's clarify this Nine of Cups for Sagittarius, please. Yeah, you see? The door's opening. It's an opportunity. Do you want to go in? That's the question. And I kind of suspect... <laughs> I think the more you think about it, the more energised you'll feel. So there's definitely this... I mean, it might well be that you've, you've kind of put it off before, you know? You might have put things off before in terms of taking it to the next level, but the Four of Wands is the happy home card, celebration, joy, uh, committed relationship. It feels like someone's asking you to move in with them. And, you know, have the courage because for some of you, there's real happiness and contentment there. So nice, so lovely. Let's pull a final card love the reading Sagittarius it feels very promising well we've got moderation is there something you know you shouldn't be eating try to eat mindfully and healthily although the fairies say a little bit of what you fancy is fine I mean that could be a message for us all couldn't it but it feels like approach the situation with moderation as well you know again this energy of strength don't let your thought patterns get out of control because for some of you when you really think about it it feels that this feels right for you and um, certainly in this re this relationship I mean this is the door to a really beautiful committed um, relationship happy home card could be in terms of marriage as well uh, it can be marriage engagement that kind of energy as well so something that you might have even put off before here talking about it definitely feels for some of you that it is happening and it might well be that you're just coming around to the idea of doing it this time okay so i've got a solitude think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything the greatest treasures are those that wake silently clock during your quiet times i mean for me this is very hermit energy it's introspection going within in terms of finding answers on how you need to take action in your external environment and um and again there's this energy of this independence that i'm getting But I don't think there's a necessarily a need to give up who you are just because you're moving in with somebody. And I guess it's just getting that balancing act. But it definitely feels very beautiful. That's for sure. So I hope you enjoyed the reading, Sagittarius. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.